I interviewed her at Bestival 2018, okay. and she'd just come off stage, she just headlined, and I freaked out. I think for a lot of um, gay men in particular, one of the big sort of cultural experiences is finding like a female pop star that you just like love and you super fan. And for many a gay pal of mine, it's like Gaga or Madonna or like Whitney or whatever. But for me, it was always MIA. And yeah. I think just because like she was such a sort of strange like unheard of unseen character on like mm -hmm. both the pop scale and also like the indie scale and the hip hop scale like she she somehow kind of had fingers in all three pies mm -hmm. and i just loved her i love her lyrics i love her sort of like energy and so i made this documentary that was sort of looking at that was kind of both a profile on her work, but also a kind of profile on fandom and what fandom means and represents. And then I met her, James, and I I, I interviewed her at Bestival 2018. Okay. And she'd just come off stage, she just headlined. And I freaked out. And I just sort of went up to her dressing room and she was like, Jack. And I was like, yes. <laughs> And she was like, do you want to do the interview in here? And I was like, it's a bit noisy. <laughs> she was like, okay. And then she just walked off and knocked on Shaka Khan's dressing room and was like, can we come in here? And everyone was like, yeah, yeah, come in here, we'll clear out. <laughs> so I interviewed her there and it was like, yeah, she's phenomenal and she's incredibly interesting and she's, you know, problematic to some people. And then she's an absolute like one of a kind hero sort of necessity for others also linking to the album that we're going to talk about she was a visual artist before being a musical artist so she right. was actually nominated for the alternative turner prize in 2002 oh, i had no idea yeah and mia as a project began as a lot of um graffiti stencils about sri lanka and about the civil war and a lot of stuff about that kind of refugee experience that she just used to like graffiti onto like cork boards and like street plates names and stuff. And I think there's something so nice about having an artist that matches the visuals with the sort of sonics as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like MIA would like the next album.